issues. Shelley Siegel is here. Well, I'd love to hear a song. Uh, the first caveat is, though, there's no dirty words, because I saw a YouTube video of yeah. you. So just disguise those words if you use them. Okay. Second thing, would you mind moving your, your tuner? Is that what that is? Of course, yeah. Okay. So what would you like to start off with? Well, let's get right into it then, since we <laughs> was talking about um, the issues with, with women and stuff. Uh, I'd like to play a song from an atheist album called Eve. And this song talks about uh, Old and New Testament scriptures that uh, define a woman's role in the society, in the home. And the synagogue I went to had gender segregation, so we would... It was would, orthodox. Yeah, it was orthodox. Okay. Um, we would sit upstairs, and if you couldn't get upstairs, you'd sit up the back with a curtain in front of you and not be allowed to participate in leading the service. Um, so this is Eve. Bible tells me I was made for and from man And I must do for him everything that I can I must surrender to his will I must submit I can't make the household decisions Cause I am unfit It tells me my place With everlasting grace The Bible tells me I must be silent You can't hear my voice My role has been divinely defined And I have no other choice I, I may not be a teacher of man I must cover up my shame These are the laws of the one Who in vain I cannot name He tells me my place With everlasting grace And my punishment For wanting to learn Bible tells me that I am unclean, I am impure, you cannot touch me, and it has nothing to do with where I've been, it is part of who I am, it is because I corrupt man, I was asking for it just by being a woman, he tells me my place, with everlasting Bible tells me I was made for and from man And I must do for him everything that I can I must surrender to his will I must submit I can't make the household decisions Cause I am unfit It tells me my place with everlasting grace Yeah, it tells me my place With everlasting grace Shelley Sigel, live in the WLRN studio. And it must have been a shock to you when you discovered that your upbringing was wrong. 
totally. It was a really big shock. And uh, I was kind of, I was a bit angry, actually. I came home and it was a bit difficult with my parents because I was like, how could you teach me all this stuff without finding out first if it was true?